Guys, welcome to the evening prayer. Almighty God, who has ordered our lot and appointed the place of our habitation, grant us grace to accept cheerfully and to occupy contentedly the station in which, in your providence, you have assigned to us. Help us to realize its sacredness because it is your fatherly choice for us and your gift to us. Surely the place you have prepared for us and in which you have set us must be the best place for us, the place in which we can best grow as Christians, whose atmosphere is the most healthful for us, whose experiences are suited to the development of our character. It must be the place, too, in which we can do the best service for you. Help us to accept it with confidence and to live in it without discontent. Sometimes we are disposed to murmur. We think others are more highly favored, more have easier positions, have less care and toil, have more ease and comfort. We imagine that if we could change places with some others we know, that we could live more sweetly and make more of our life. Forgive us the sin of discontentment. With our place in life, you know what is best for us. You know where we can be of the most use to you and to others, where the work lies, which you have for us to do. So we pray earnestly, our Father, for the spirit of cheerful acquiescence in your plan and your way for us. Help us to accept your guidance and to do the things that come to us day by day from your hand. Then at the end of the day, I mean, then at the end, we can rejoice in the blessing of those who have done your will and served our own generation. We ask all through Jesus Christ. Amen. And the quote... For this evening is the most damnable and pernicious heresy that has ever plagued the mind of man was the idea that somehow he could make himself good enough to deserve to live with an all holy God, Martin Luther. Okay, again, the most damnable and pernicious heresy that has ever plagued the mind of man was the idea that somehow he could make himself good enough. To deserve to live with an all-holy God. We can never make ourselves good enough. Only God can do that. We can just do our best. And he does the rest. And today's uh, quote from my devotion. And I might read the devotion later. But it's uh, from Luke ten eighteen. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. That's when Satan got kicked out of heaven. So, because he used to be an angel. And he got kicked out for pride. He thought he could be as God and be better as God or equal to God. So I love you guys, and I hope that you all have a very happy Thanksgiving tomorrow. Um, I hope you enjoy your family. I'm not doing anything tomorrow, so I'm going to be alone. But you know what? It's okay because I, I don't know, I'm going through some things anyway. So, But Christmas is different. We're going to have everybody here for Christmas. But... Yeah, but I put up my Christmas decorations this evening, but by myself, my neck is killing me. I have a degenerative disc, and oh my goodness, they, are they hurting now, but it was worth it. And then I made a great big pot of chicken Alfredo for my daughter, and I baked her a bunch of uh, chocolate chip cookies, her and her boyfriend, so that they would, you know, have stuff. Um, I would I would have had her for Thanksgiving, but she's got plans, and so I love you guys, and happy Thanksgiving, and I'll be praying for you, and I'm still doing the prayers tomorrow. So God bless you and have a wonderful night. I love you.